Somebody decided not to go in the coop last night. Bad! Hey guys, welcome to Farm Alarm. My name is Tracy. Today we're helping someone out. They had asked us, hey, can you guys help us out just a little bit? Um, we need we need you to do some animal chores for us. So we said, absolutely, love thy neighbor. And uh, today we're going to take you on these farm chore journey with us. Stay tuned. It's actually a really neat little setup here. So their nesting boxes are accessible from the outside of the coop. And that's pretty cool. You don't have to go inside the coop. Um, I know a lot of people, you, you have to go inside the coop, get in the mess of the chickens. And uh, you know, th this saves pretty handy time. Now we checked on this last night. Now they had said that that hen that's in there, that's a broody hen. They said she was setting on an egg um, or a couple eggs. There was no eggs under her last night. So I don't know if, if they had hatched. Um, something happened to the chicks or if something came in and got those those eggs so anyway this is a fresh egg couple of fresh eggs here and they've got uh, seven layers They too have some Premier One electric fence, and uh, this stuff is excellent. If you guys haven't seen any videos on that, I'll leave a link to one of our videos right there. <laughs> Baby chicks are good to go. Kitty kitty. Hi. I know there's four. Oh, there you are. I say I knew there was four of you guys, gals. Bah. All right, got plenty of water. So you guys know that we have hair sheep. Um, they've got wool sheep, and you know, I mean, I guess it's all what you get used to. But those sheep are really ugly to me. Uh, you know, our sheep are are all white, and they're hairy. Um, you know, I don't think those uh, black faced ones are, are that, that ugly of a sheep, but man, them other two are just ugly sheep. But, uh, and, and you know, I just wouldn't want to have to shear them seasonally. I don't know how often you do that, maybe just once a year. But I know you can get money out of the wool too, but it just seems like another added expense plus something else just to do. And I've already got enough stuff on my plate to do. So you guys might be looking in here and seeing this little bit of white stuff in there. I was saying, what's that? Is that is that mold or something? You can see a little bit of white stuff in that feed there. Well, I'm assuming that's diatomaceous earth because I know I know that they've been putting diatomaceous earth in uh, some of their animal feeds, and that is a natural way to get rid of parasites and. And uh, maybe other worm problems, stuff like that. So, um, if you haven't look at, or haven't heard of diatomaceous earth, look into it. It's uh, it's a pretty good thing. So, also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about a, a meetup that we are going to be participating in. Um, White House on the Hill is hosting a meetup for uh, YouTube channels here at, in Missouri at the uh, Missouri State Fair, and we're going to be there with with a few other channels, and that's going to be. Uh, we're going to be doing that on August 16th, and that's a Thursday, and we're going to be doing that that afternoon. Um, so any time that you guys want to meet up with us on August 16th, um, on Thursday afternoon, we'll be at the Missouri State Fair. And the good thing about that day is it's $5 tickets all day long. Um, and it's not going to be just us and White House on the Hill, Arrow Ridge, um, they're here in Missouri as well. And uh, Off the Grid Streets, they're kind of a new YouTube channel. I think they're uh, down south Missouri. And then 
uh, 180 degrees uh, from average. Um, I, I don't think they're a Missouri channel, but they're gonna they're gonna show up. They're gonna be there too. I'm sure there's gonna be other channels as well. But we'd really like to meet you guys. Um, feel free to leave us a comment uh, below and let us know if you're interested in coming and meeting up with us. It's real fun to see the different ingenuity that people use on their farms to raise their animals um, and different uh, little techniques or tricks that you might you might say. Um, this right here is a water that I designed and made for my neighbor here. This is a three inch piece of uh, PVC pipe and it was a 10 foot stick. And let's see, so there's about eight foot here in the, the long run and the vertical piece that you see, oh, let's see where we at. So the vertical piece right there um, is about two foot and with a 90 degree elbow in the end, the cap on this end is glued on, that cap is not glued on, and you just fill that up with water. Well, if you look down here, you can kind of see the watering nipples. There's uh, three of them on this one, four of them. So we have to give these guys a little bit of feed and also check their water. And I seen them, I don't know if you can see them, but they're down over that hill right there. And let's see if they respond to the same call that I call my sheep with. My grandpa, actually, my great grandpa, Henry, that's kind of a family name. It's my son's name and my grandpa's name and my great grandpa's name. So. Let's see. That, anyway, my grandpa, great grandpa Henry, that's how this is how he used to call his cows. So I thought, well, let's just start calling our sheep like this, and do, doing animal calls. You know, just something repetitive. You know, when it's when it's feed time, um, that they really get to. You know, whatever that whatever that call is, they really get to use, or they get to uh, they get used to that, right? And so, if you're just consistent um, with that, they'll they'll start to recognize that. And I, whenever I call my sheep, I. Uh, I, I never use this call for anything other than feed time, right? Yep, check that out. Here they come. Totally knew that was going to work. <laughs> They're coming to get me. <laughs> They're totally coming to get me. <laughs> they were totally trying to get me. <laughs> no, they weren't trying to get me. They're hungry. I put it down there. Actually, I really don't know where Trevor feeds you guys at, but in your mineral tub. I don't think they understand English. That's where I put your stuff at. And you look mad. That was a workout. All right, hey guys, remember August 16th, Thursday, anytime that afternoon, hit us up in the comment section below if you're coming to the Missouri State Fair, and we will see you guys on the next video.